Hello friends, we are going to start new topic transcription. We will discuss it in series of videos. So stay tuned. First of all, let us discuss about central dogma. The unidirectional flow of information from DNA to RNA to protein is known as central dogma. Flow of information from DNA to RNA is known as transcription and from RNA to protein is known as translation. This translation we will discuss in separate series of videos. Here we will discuss about transcription. So if we talk about its definition, transcription is the copying of genetic information from one DNA strand into RNA by RNA polymerase. So the genetic information of one DNA strand is copied into RNA. And this process is catalyzed by RNA polymerase. This is known as transcription. Or in other words, it is the process of rewriting the genetic information contained in DNA into RNA by RNA polymerase. It is the first step of gene expression. By controlling the production of RNA, cell regulates the rate of gene expression or rate of gene expression is regulated by controlling the production of messenger RNA. Now let us see transcription unit. It is the stretch or segment of DNA that participate in transcription and transcribed into RNA molecule. It has three components, promoter, structural gene and terminator. Let us discuss them one by one. First, promoter. DNA sequence located towards the 5 dash end that is upstream of coding strand is known as promoter. It is the binding site of RNA polymerase. It is the site where the transcription starts. Second is structural gene. The region in transcription unit flanked by promoter and terminator regions on either side is known as structural gene. The two DNA strands within the structural genes are identified by different names. This is because RNA polymerase catalyzes polymerization in only one direction that is 5 dash to 3 dash. The strand with 3 dash to 5 dash polarity become template strand. Other strand with 5 dash to 3 dash polarity is known as coding strand which is displaced during transcription. Third is terminator DNA sequence located towards 3 dash end that is downstream of the coding strand is known as terminator. It provides the stop signal in order to end or stop transcription. Now let us understand transcription unit with the help of diagram. So this is the double stranded DNA. This is promoter region and this is terminator region and the region that is flanked by promoter and terminator region is known as structural gene. So this stretch or segment of DNA is known as transcription unit. Promoter is the start site of transcription and terminator is the region where transcription stops. Transcription is catalyzed by RNA polymerase which synthesizes the RNA in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. So the strand having the polarity 3 dash to 5 dash serves as the template strand and the other strand which has the polarity 5 dash to 3 dash is displaced during the transcription or during the RNA synthesis. This is known as the coding strand. So with respect to coding strand promoter is present at the 5 dash end or upstream of the coding strand and Terminator is present at the 3 dash or downstream of coding strand. So what we have seen only one DNA strand participate in transcription. But why? If both strands act as templates then it will result in two different RNA and hence two different proteins. As a result transfer of genetic information will be complicated. Second, the two RNA sequence will be complementary to each other and will result in double stranded RNA. As a result, translation of RNA into protein will be prevented 
because protein synthesis or translation takes place on single stranded RNA, but it cannot take place in the double stranded RNA. Now let us see transcription in prokaryotes, site of transcription in prokaryotes is cytoplasm and the transcripting enzyme involved is DNA dependent RNA polymerase which is also called RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase only transcribes all types of RNA that is messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA. Now let us discuss about RNA polymerase. It is a holoenzyme. Its molecular weight is 4,50,000 Dalton. It is made up of five different polypeptide chains. Beta, Beta, Dash, Sigma, Alpha and Omega. These are also known as subunits of holoenzyme. Alpha 2, Beta, Beta, Dash, Omega. These together forms core enzyme and core enzyme along with Sigma subunit is known as holoenzyme. So enzyme without sigma subunit is core enzyme and core enzyme plus sigma subunit is holoenzyme. Core enzyme can transcribe bacterial DNA into RNA but it initiates the transcription non-specifically at any base on the DNA. Sigma subunit confers specificity of initiation at promoter site or in other words RNA polymerase initiates transcription at promoter site in the presence of the sigma subunit also known as initiation factor. Once transcription is initiated, RNA polymerase loses sigma factor and it is able to carry on elongation but accessory factor is required. Also, Rho factor is required for termination at terminator site. So in order to end the transcription at terminator site, core enzyme requires Rho factor. This Rho factor is also known as termination factor. Because of the complex structure of this enzyme, RNA polymerase synthesizes ribosomal RNA, transfer RNA and messenger RNA in a regulated fashion. Now let us discuss the steps of transcription in prokaryotes. In prokaryotes transcription has three steps initiation, elongation and translation. Let us discuss them one by one. Initiation. In initiation RNA polymerase attaches to the DNA molecule and moves along the DNA strand until it recognizes a promoter sequence that is transcription start site. Now the DNA double helix unwinds, all the bases on the DNA strands are exposed and the strand which has 3 dash to 5 dash polarity acts as a template. This process or initiation step is catalyzed by sigma factor which is known as the initiation factor. This sigma factor gives specificity to the RNA polymerase so that transcription is initiated at specific site that is known as the promoter site. But binding of sigma factor is transient. In the absence of sigma factor, transcription starts but it starts non-specifically by the core enzyme at any base of the DNA molecule. So what we can say core enzyme can initiate transcription non-specifically at some other sites of the DNA molecule. That's why sigma factor or initiation factor provides specificity to the core enzyme. Next step is elongation in this RNA strand starts getting longer. RNA polymerase moves along template strand of DNA. Substrate used is nucleoside triphosphate and it follows complementarity rule that is complementary basis of the template strand is added during the transcription except that instead of thymine uracil is added in RNA because during the transcription adenine of the template pairs with uracil of the RNA and this elongation step is catalyzed by core enzyme. 
Third is termination when polymerase reaches the terminator region. Nascent RNA and RNA polymerase falls off. This results in termination or the end of the transcription. And in this process, RNA polymerase associates with rho factor transiently. This rho factor is known as the termination factor. Therefore, what we can say that rho factor is required for the termination of the transcription. Now, let us understand steps of prokaryotic transcription with the help of diagram. This is the DNA double helix. This is the promoter region and this is the terminator region. So, in the process of initiation, RNA polymerase attaches to the DNA molecule and moves along the DNA strand until it recognizes the promoter region. And this promoter region is known as the transcription start site. Now what happens? Double helix of the DNA starts unwinding and its basis gets exposed. The strand which has 3 dash to 5 dash polarity serves as the template strand and the other strand is known as the coding strand. This is because RNA polymerase synthesizes RNA in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction. And once the process of transcription is initiated at the promoter site, then the sigma factor falls off or RNA polymerase loses the sigma factor. Now it is known as the core enzyme. So sigma factor is responsible for the initiation of the transcription hence it is also known as initiation factor and it provides the specificity to the core enzyme because in the presence of the sigma factor initiation start at the specific site known as the promoter site in the absence of the sigma factor core enzyme can initiate transcription but it is non-specific it initiates the transcription at any base of the DNA strand. Now the second step is elongation. The score enzyme in the absence of the sigma factor continues the synthesis of the RNA strand. RNA strand gets longer. Substrate which is involved in the elongation of the RNA strand or the synthesis of the RNA strand is nucleoside triphosphate and it is added in the template dependent fashion following the rule of complementarity that is complementary bases of the template strand are added during the elongation of the RNA strand with the exception that instead of thymine uracil is added in the RNA Next step is termination in this step as RNA polymerase reaches the termination site. Then rho factor binds with this core enzyme. Now this RNA polymerase and nascent RNA strand falls off from this terminator site. And this results in the termination of the transcription or this stops the transcription of the RNA. This rho factor also associates with or binds with the score enzyme transiently. This rho factor is known as the termination factor because it is required for the termination of the transcription. Now let us discuss some of the important points of prokaryotic transcription. In prokaryotes, no processing is required for messenger RNA. In prokaryotes, transcription and translation takes place in the same compartment. That is in the cytoplasm of the cell because in prokaryotes, nucleus is not present. Hence, in prokaryotes, translation can begin much before messenger RNA is fully transcribed. Or in other words, what we can say that transcription and translation can be coupled in prokaryotes. So this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.